All right, folks. In the last video, we created uh, a real-time analytics application, and uh, just referring to the architecture diagram here. Um, so this is the architecture diagram which we discussed, and then uh, we created the analytics application here, and now we are going to create a Kinesis Firehose. Now, before we do this, uh, there would be a SQL statement which we have to write in here. Uh, I showed you in the last video how you can get the SQL from templates. But here I have just written a very basic SQL statement. I'm just going to walk you through that now. So we created a destination SQL stream. And then in this SQL stream, we had uh, listed all the customers and all the related column names which are coming in from the source. And that's it, we created like a temp table. Now, then all we did is we inserted into this uh, SQL uh, destination with all the column names coming in from the source. Simple, no transformation, nothing. Whatever the records are coming in, uh, I'm just going to write it down and then click on save and run and it's gonna save and run the SQL, making sure that the SQL here, it's valid. Please note that when you're creating the SQL statement, you have to put that in double quotes, the, the select statement, whatever you're writing, you, put, you need to put that, the columns in the double quotes. Now having said that, uh, let's create a fire hose. Uh, in the meanwhile, this is updating. So go to Kinesis and create a delivery stream. And here uh, I'm gonna write a, a, a retail uh, fire hose. And then you can use a direct put or a Kinesis stream. So Kinesis stream, as I discussed before, can directly be used to populate Firehose. But here I'm going to use analytics uh, to do that. Now, uh, here, just say next. Now, Record, record transformation, nothing. Record format conversion, nothing. Uh, click on next. And then select Amazon Elasticsearch service. Now before we create or we select this, we have to create an Elasticsearch service. I'm gonna show you in a, just a moment. Uh, in this, there would not be any Elasticsearch service because we have not created it. And that is why the button create new. So you can create this elastic search domain. The other option would is even if you go to services and search for elastic search service, uh, one and the same. So what I mean is you can create a new domain here or you can just click on this create new and it's gonna do the same thing, both options are okay. Here I'm going to say AA uh, retail elastic. Say next. So this is the cluster which I have to create beforehand. Uh, I'm going to select a very small uh, elastic search or medium. Medium is fine. And then storage type is EBS, uh, do not change it. General purpose, this is 10 is the minimum, so uh, you can keep it here. Keep everything the same. Say next, no, def no selection. For now, just do public. Please note that after I create this video, I'm gonna delete this uh, domain. So do not try to access it. Um, but for now, I'm doing public. There's a VPC which is, uh, private IP access only, uh, that will be covered in a different video. So for now I'm doing public, allow open access to the domain, that is public. I accept the risk, click on OK, and uh, just say next. So here is confirmation and create. So please note that it's gonna take a lot of time to create the cluster. Um, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna pause the video. And then once this cluster is up, uh, we're gonna come here and select that uh, cluster over here. 
and then create uh, this fire hose. Uh, so bear with me, let the elastic cluster uh, be up and running and then uh, we can we can work on that. All right, in the meanwhile, let's create the Kinesis fire hose. So again, I have selected the elastic search service in the domains, if you refresh it here, uh, you would see retail elastic and then uh, I'm gonna see a retail as the index name just give any index name whatever you think I can think of here uh, let's say request it doesn't matter just just type request and then uh, for failed records I can put it in the s3 bucket and then prefix can be retail and just say next Uh, once done, so just let me tell you the uh, functionality of pre the prefix. Prefix is anything which you would type and your failed records would have this prefix, pre underscore retail. And this helps in understanding which log files is for which application because log file can really be, uh, tend to be, uh, you know, kind of complex. Now click on next and then buffer size, I'm just going to say 1 MB disabled, uh, encryption disabled, error logging enabled you can disable it as well uh, and then you have to choose the role in the role if you select it uh, fire host delivery role uh, depends on your organization and click on next here so direct put we are going to click enable this with the analytics service here it's all chain, right? Analytics, Firehose, and Elasticsearch. It's all chain. So in order for this to be enabled with this, you have to create this. But for Firehose to be created, you would need Elasticsearch service. And that is why we created Elasticsearch service, then Firehose, and then I'm gonna link it to the analytics. And say create delivery stream. But before that, we have to make sure that this is up, which is green now, uh, so I can create a delivery stream so delivery stream is created uh, elastic search is created and all we have to do is once this is up and running I'm gonna hook it up with the analytics the kinesis analytics and the data would start flowing hopefully we will see all right so now we see the fire hose is active please note that this elastic search service is active as well as the fire hose is active uh, on the electric service, do not worry about the cluster health. This is just an API and this is a very small cluster, it doesn't matter. And then uh, let's talk about the analytics application. Now, uh, we just had the SQL query which we discussed at the beginning of this video. Uh, click on the destination and say connect to destination. Uh, as soon as you say connect to destination, you would select Kinesis Firehose Delivery System as stream. And then in this stream, you would select the retail fire hose which you just created and then you say choose an existing in application stream that means whatever the stream exists in the analytics data analytics that means destination so destination is where you are choosing fire hose and then whatever is that is in the destination sql stream in this the same would be going to the uh the the destination of Firehose and then you can select CSV if you would like to and then uh, say save and continue so once this is done you would see the messages flowing in from uh, analytics to Kinesis Kinesis to Elasticsearch and then uh, for Elasticsearch I'm going to show you Kibana dash dashboard maybe in the next video uh, uh, wherein uh, you would see that the data is flowing as you would expect it to. So you'd go to Firehose, uh, go to monitoring, and you would see in a few minutes that the data would start flowing in. So that's pretty much uh, you know how this is enabled. In the next video, hopefully we will show you how to um, get Kibana. You can see that. There is a Kibana link in the Elasticsearch cluster. 
uh, click on this the data has not come in yet uh, that is why you would not see the uh, input but you would see that there is you know how much is the free storage uh, free space megabytes MBs how the search results are happening and stuff like that so you would see a lot of things but let's just uh, make sure that the data is flowing in in the few minutes you would see the applic the graph building up because the data is being pumped in continuously uh, in order to verify you can go here uh, in the Kinesis uh, analytics and say go to SQL results and you would see that it's uh, real, near real time the data is um, coming in so I hope uh, it gives you an entire end-to-end -end view of how to create the application uh, real-time streaming how to get the Kinesis streams Kinesis analytics Kinesis fire for fire hose and then elastic search enabled uh, to do the job which you are looking to achieve for near real time data I'm just refreshing in the hope that it takes some time to for the data to be appearing here and showing you all the all the good graphs uh, very soon and here also you would see that there are some things populating so thank you again for watching I hope uh, this was informational uh, in the next set of videos I'm going to cover in detail a uh, few other things on Amazon Web Services. Till then, thank you.